What's up, guys? Today I will share some knowledge of antenna polarization. It is an important parameter when we design antennas or antenna array. When the EM waves have a different polarization from the polarization of the receiving antenna, some of the EM waves will miss. For example, if we use a circular polarized antenna to receive linear polarized waves, only 50% of the energy can be successfully received. A vertical polarized antenna cannot receive horizontally polarized waves. On the other hand, we can employ polarization diversity or polarization mismatch to increase the signal-to-noise ratio. There are three kinds of polarizations, linear polarization, circular polarization, and elliptical polarization. Linear and circular polarization can be regarded as two special cases of elliptical polarization. But it is hard to achieve a pure circular polarization. Normally, we can get elliptical polarization. When the axial ratio is smaller than 3 dB, we can regard it as a circular polarization. As you can see in this figure, as the main beam direction, you can find that the axial ratio is smaller than 3 dB, so we can regard it as a circular polarized antenna. In this figure, we find that the axial ratio is larger than 20 dB. In this case, we can regard it as a linear polarized antenna. Circular polarization can be classified as a right-hand circular polarization and left-hand polarization. IEEE standards list the definition of a right-hand circular polarization and the axial ratio you can see here. In this video, we will use two antennas to demonstrate these concepts. We know that a helix antenna is a circular polarized when it is end fired, and the dipole antenna is broadside fired, so it is linear polarized. As you can see here, I've already built up a, a dipole antenna in CST and a helix antenna. So let's start from the simple one. We've already known that for a dipole antenna, it is linearly polarized. The polarization direction is vertical to the ground. So after run the simulation, we can find the, the four field pattern. When we talk about the polarization, we care about the, the E field pattern for the main beam. When it is far enough to the antenna, it, it means we care about the far field pattern. So we can check the axial ratio. It shows that it is a 40 dB as we explained. that In reality, it is hard to, to get a, a purely circular polarized or linear polarized antenna. So in real case, it is just a elliptical polarized. We know that for a elliptical circle, we have a long axial and a short axial. The ratio is a long axial to short axial. So in this case, the axial ratio is a 40 dB, which is a larger than 20 dB. So we can regard it as, as a linear polarized. The next question is, for linear polarization, it has a vertical polarization and a horizontal polarization. We want to know what is this linear polarization. We can check the theta and the phi. We find that the theta is much larger than phi, so it is polarized in theta direction. But how the software define the theta? If we check on the help, we can find that it said for the theta in the spherical system, the theta is pointed to minus z direction. So when we back here, we find that if we check the, the, the 3D pattern, we find that uh, the Z direction is the, if we reference to the ground, the Z direction is vertical to the ground. So it means that uh, theta means uh, vertical to the ground. And if we check the pattern here, we find that theta is much larger than phi. So it means that this uh, dipole antenna is uh, vertical polarized. 
Now let's have a look of the Helix antenna. Here I have a, a red hand Helix antenna. If you look at these wires, you will find it is a red hand Helix. So it should be a red hand circular polarized antenna in theory. So let's check in the simulation. Is this really a red hand polarized antenna? So first we we check the, the, the red hand polarization, we find the E field magnitude. This is the E field, so the E field magnitude is around 20. But for the left hand polarization, we find that the E field is close to 5. It means that the right hand polarized the e electric field dominate the E field. So it means that this antenna is a right hand polarized it is well agreed with the theory part and we can check the axial ratio we find that the axial ratio is a is a different in different directions it is not surprised me since based on the definition we care about what's the polarization in the main beam direction for the and for the helix antenna its main beam direction is in this direction in this direction so we check what's the axial ratio in this direction i have a marker here it is uh, around uh, three when the axial ratio is uh, around three it is can be regarded as a circular polarized so we can say that uh, this is a circular polarized uh, antenna based on the axial ratio and uh, when we check the the left uh, hand polarization and the right hand polarization we find that the right hand polarization is much larger than the left hand polarization so this is a right hand circular polarized antenna and we double check the structure it is a right hand circular polarized helix antenna next question is how we can find this uh, these parameters the axial ratio, the left hand, right hand polarization. It is simple. When we finish the simulation, we can check the far field pattern. And if we click it, we can find the far field plot project. We can define the coordinate by ourselves. So it has a different coordinate. And here is a polarization. We've already know it is a circular polarized. If you don't know, what kind of a polarization your antenna is after simulation you can try different one circular one or linear one and uh, based on the axial ratio you shall know it is a circular polarized or linear polarized when the axial ratio is larger than 20 db we can regard it as a linear polarized when it is a around the or, or smaller than 3 dB, we can regard it as a, a circular polarized one. You can check it as a left hand polarized or right hand polarized for the circular polarization. As for the linear polarization, you can check it as a vertical one or horizontal one. Here is a tricky, sometimes the, the definition of the theta and the phi will confuse me. So I will check the the definition on the menu how they define the theta and the phi and then we know which direction it is uh, polarized sometimes we know the definition on the textbook but we also need to know how to check these parameters in our simulation since in some time we are not sure this antenna is a circular polarized or linear polarized and uh, it's a vertical one or horizontal one or left hand one or right hand one so we need to learn how to check these parameters in the simulation software hope this video can help you understand the polarization and uh, give you a, a hint in your work to find how to check the polarization of your antennas thanks for your watching please support my channel